What is up, everyone? Pluto Coffins is here with my co-host, KDHD, and our special guest, John Campbell. Isn't that right? Yeah. Yeah, he's he's live with us on the show, and this is the 29th episode of the Bull Session Podcast. We got yeah, a good one. Yeah, it hasn't been canceled yet. Yeah. It ain't been canceled yet, and we got a good one today. But, um... We got a Bible study, actually. Yeah. yeah, John wants to cover some Bible verses, and I said I'd let him cover some Bible verses on the show. Because in the last... Cool, ep- because it's an atheist show, and so we're doing that, yeah. Yeah, but in the last episode, I didn't ask him about God at all. Did you notice that, John? I know, and I didn't force myself on you. you know? Yeah, I know. <laughs> but in this episode, let's talk about God a little bit, you know? Yeah, I mean, it's good to change it up, I mean. Yeah, you know. Whether you can... <laughs> Yeah. All right, the verse I have is Acts 2, chapter 2, verse 2. Wait, four. this is your first verse? <laughs> yeah, my only one. That one only you only one. got one verse. Well, I got two, three, and four. So three You can verses. cover all of them, bro. I'm ready for them. All right, and then suddenly there came a sound from heaven. As a mighty, as a rushing mighty wind, and it filled all the house where they were sitting. And there appeared unto them cloven tongues like as of fire, and it sat upon each of them. And they were filled with the Holy Ghost and began to speak with other tongues as the Spirit how, gave them. How were they filled with the Holy Ghost? Were they like filled with his semen, or were they like. like... No, they, um, I wouldn't <laughs> joke around that. You know, it's. Um, because God is a spirit, you know, so it's like a ghost, you know. But how would they be filled with them? Like, like ghost semen? Like, I don't get how they're getting you know, filled. No, like possession, you know. They possess it? God's possessing people? That's basically how I can, uh, can understand it. You know, kind of like ghost adventures, you know. Ghost adventures? But he doesn't force himself on, you know, like a haunted house, you know. Ghost adventures? You never seen that show? No, I yeah. seen Ghost Adventures. You see the one where they go to Ashmore Estates? That one was crazy. I know. I used to watch that Beggins and all, but it's similar to that. But it's you know in the religion of the Christian. They know. talk about my great great grandfather in fucking the Ashmore Estates episode. He's the ghost that haunts the Ashmore Estates. Really? Oh, really? Joe Block. Didn't find anything oh. there, so he must not be there. Yeah. You know? His grave's right across the street. We never oh, found wow. it, though. We tried it, to go. Yeah, we tried, tried to find it, but fucking... Show, I mean, I wasn't impressed, you know. We tried to go... Episodes, you know. We tried to find his grave that's right across the street from Ashmore State's late at night and make a video about it, but fucking we couldn't find it because there, there was, like... It was, was, like, someone built on top of it or something. And there was, like, so much overgrown grass. Oh, and there was, like, so much... There was weird stuff going on there, too. Yeah, we heard we voices. Did. And we saw like random lights, like we saw from weird the shit. Maybe it's some like rural dude. But I mean, I, don't I had and then I, in my um, house in Toledo, orange orbs. Yeah, where your thing fell off the fridge. Yeah, you seen that? Yeah, that was weird. That scared the shit out of me. It scared the shit out of you. <laughs> yeah, because I mean, I didn't touch it, and you know. What if it just fell, man? I think that might have just fallen. You know what I'm saying? But you never know about I've never stuff. seen I a mean, ghost. Yeah. I've just had weird shit happen to me. I don't believe in ghosts yet until I see one <laughs> I with my one. own eyes. But I've had weird I mean, I, I I've had weird shit happen to me. Yet, but I haven't seen a ghost. Enough weird shit. Like I'm getting home shows right now, you know. Talking about ghosts? Yeah, goosebumps, you know. <laughs> um, what kind of ghost stories you got? Well, in Toledo, um, I would um See these orange orbs that would um, go from one room to the other. Orbs? At night, you know. Orbs? Yeah, orbs, they're cool, you know. You thought they were cool? They didn't spook you out? No, they can be, you know, some can be scary, like, depending on the color, you know. <laughs> <laughs> what do you mean, bro? <laughs> it's an I orb. I mean, like, what people think, you know, about orbs, you know, like the aura. But you just said, oh, man, that's a scary color on that orb. I feel like they'd all be scary. I don't give a fuck what color it is. I know, right? That's a joke. (laughs) Yeah. Anyways, uh, you were saying about your Bible verse. Yeah, the Holy Ghost. People think it's a person, but I've never known a ghost to be a person, you know. 
Well, there most ghosts were people at one point, right? If ghosts are real. Yeah, yeah that's Jesus what I think. Jesus was a person at one point, but he died and rose again. Wait, so you think the Holy Ghost is a Jesus? Is the ultimate ghost, you know. <laughs> He's the ultimate ghost. <laughs> alpha male, yeah. The alpha male ghost. Alpha But no, nah, the way I've been described. That's but, what I best understand it, you know. I thought it's the father and then the son. Father is just a title. And then there's me, the Holy you know? Spirit. Yeah, but they call the Holy Spirit a person, so... If you notice the train thing, and they don't even believe in that. What word. the fuck even is the Holy Spirit? You know what I'm saying? Because yeah. well, the, I get yeah, there's, God, there's God, there's God, and then He word. sent Himself down as His Son. I get that. There's God. He sent Himself down. He's His Son. He's also the same person as His Son. I don't quite get that. But then there's this yeah, Holy Ghost guy. Some things we got in that lean on our own understanding. Yeah. But do you understand what the fuck the Holy Ghost is? Because I don't. I, I don't. mean, I think I do, but I don't, you know. <coughs> um, you know? Is, is it's there... kind of a mystery of God, you know? Like, I mean... Mystery? The mystery of God. But is there any other Bible verses, or is there any more to that verse that you wanted to share? No, that's the only one I wanted to get out, you know. There's so many churches cover that verse. But they don't actually believe it and believe in speaking in tongues as a gift of God, you know. Can you speak the, in tongues? Yeah, can you speak in tongues? Yeah, I can, but there's no interpreter here, you know. Can so, you j- just do it real quick. Yeah, show us some. No, I don't want to because, I mean... Well, this is know, a Bible study. I know, but there's no interpreter, you know. There's no, you wouldn't understand it, you know. I mean, I just want to. I used to be a devout Christian. I think I remember when they used to do that. I think I could pull it off, you know. All right, I was gula ba sa la sha ta la ba ta gula ma na la sha ta gula sha ta la ba ta la ma na yes, Lord Jesus. That was really good. Yeah, that was. Can you do another verse? Um, that's um. Not off the top of my head. What about Revelations? Could you do one from Revelations? Yeah, um, I could do a Great Wall one. Um, All right, bet. Do that one. All right, let me get to it. All right. Um, if, um... This one's going to be good. I hope so. What that noise? What was it? Yeah. It was a train. Well, I heard a bump, you know. Oh, that was oh. on that was on your end. Yeah, I heard that on your end too. Yeah, I don't know what that was, you know. I mean it shows. <laughs> you think it's a ghost? Who knows, you know. What's this next verse, uh, John? Alright, it is um Revelation twenty one twelve. And, he- and had a gra- and heaven had a great wall. No, but I thought. Wait, I thought it was going to be in tongues. No, I mean that's something special, you know. Oh, you don't okay. Have to get somebody that knows what language that was, you know. Right. Well, it's, it's like Latin, right? No, it's not. Yeah, you know, it's its own language, you know. It's God's language. Exactly, language of the angels. Well, you before you get to that verse, then. Um, Save it, save it, because I want to get back to it. But I want to ask you, like, what exactly is speaking in tongues? It's where you give yourself up to Jesus, you know. You surrender. Right. You surrender you know, to Jesus. You ask God to fill you with the Holy Ghost. Then God fills and you, you with the Holy Semen. You. <laughs> You're worshiping God, you know. It edifies your soul. Do you, should I try? How do you do it? I think I, 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 mean, think I know how. Oh. Should I try? I don't know how you do it. I mean, if, okay, but if I know? start speaking in tongues, will I like convert to Christianity? You'll convert to um, Jesus, disciple of Christ. Like know? if I'm speaking in tongues? Yes, that all the disciples all right. did it. Give it a go. Know? I'm gonna give it a go. Do I have to? Cl- but you do can't I make got, it do... up because that's lying to God. Yeah. You know? Well, yeah, but do I? Do I? Do I have to close my eyes? 
No, you just have to believe and have faith, you know. All right. Believe, believe. I'm going to believe. I'm believing. Have faith now. Believe. Believe. And oh, shit. 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 Oh, Exactly, you're mocking God. No, no, no wait. How, I said, how was I That's mocking five. God? Huh? Here, I'll get to one um. He wasn't mocking. He said he'd get me one. Hey, let me go back to Acts. All right. He's going back to Acts in the Bible. It's the Ananias scripture. Okay. And then, um, certain men named Ananias and Sophia, his wife sold a possession and kept it back part of the price. His wife also being privy to it, brought a certain part of it laid into it at his apostles' feet. But Peter said, Ananias, why has Satan filled your heart to lie to the Holy Ghost and kept back the part of the price of the land? Well, it remained, and what was it not thy own? And after it was so, was it not thy own power? Why is thou conceived things in thine heart? Thou hast not lied unto man, but unto God. And Ananias, hearing these words, fell down and gave up the ghost. <laughs> and great fear came upon all of them that heard these things. And these young men arose around him and carried him out and buried him. Wow. That was amazing. That was powerful. Exactly. Lying to the Holy Ghost is, is something you don't do, you know. I wasn't lying, though. I feel like I was actually speaking in tongues. No, he can't lie to God. I mean, we were his creation. Yeah. It sounded the same as what you was doing. It did. No, mine was genuine. Mine yeah, was... His, how do you, how do you know mine wasn't genuine? Because, um... You can actually get it translated, you know. You should tr try to translate what I said, you know. All right, what about this one? I'm going to believe even harder. No, because it sounds fake. You know, I see you right through it, you know. What do you mean? What do you mean? You're sounding fake, too. No, mine's real. Because I got the Holy Ghost. I received the Holy Ghost in 05. Do yours real quick then. Yeah, do it again. I want to see hear if it's genuine. Oh, okay. I'll do, I'll do mine. No, you're mocking God. You're How? Mocking it's the same thing. It sounds no, as genuine not. as yours. It's genuine as fuck, bro. It doesn't sound genuine, yeah. To you, because you don't like me. He's got prejudice, bro. He's got prejudice no, in his heart. You that for yourself, you know. I think you got prejudice in your heart, bro. You're being mean, John Campbell. No, I'm being. I'm looking out for yourself, so you don't die like any nice. But he was speaking in tongues correctly. Yes. No, he wasn't. You know, he he lied about selling the land. Yeah. Selling plans? What? what do you mean selling? Land. Selling what? He's selling possessions, you know, house. Oh, I'm selling possessions. What do you mean I'm selling possessions? You mean I'm a, like, I bang, like a man possessed? No, like selling your things on, to the church, you know. He hasn't sold anything to yeah, the I church, Yeah, I don't know? sell anything to the church, dude. Not you, troll. Oh. What do you mean? I'm not understanding what you're saying. Exactly, you know. Who's selling what to the church? I just read it. Go back and read oh, it. Oh, he's talking yeah. about the Bible verse. Okay. Oh. Okay. But fucking... What's the biggest evidence you have for God? Specifically uh, the Christian God. It being alive, you know. You being alive. 
you know, there's many times I could have been dead, you know. Okay, but who says it's the Christian God? What if it's the Hindu God? Because there's only one God, and he's a jealous God, you know. He's a jealous God? That's not a very nice God. <laughs> no, but it's the way to be, you know. I don't think so. He's not present. He's everywhere. I think jealousy is actually a sin. No, it's not. Not in the Christian world. No, it is. I remember. I was raised Christian. I mean, if you're jealous towards another human, yes. Oh, but it's okay when God does it. He's omnipresent. He's everywhere. But uh, that That's doesn't. Not fair. Right no, wait. That now. doesn't even yeah. answer the question. It's okay when God does bad things. He doesn't do bad things. He just um. Well, if it's bad for a human to be jealous, and then God is jealous, isn't that bad? No, because we're His creation. Yeah. So He has the right to tell us what to do. Yeah, He created us. Why? You know, in Why does He have the right to tell us what to do? Because He created us. That's yeah. not so. Fair. What my dad? That's not free, my though. dad jizzed in my mom. That doesn't mean he can tell me what to do for my whole life. It's um obedient because um. Disobedience is a sign of witchcraft. Witchcraft. I guess I'm Harry Potter then, huh? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I, I can't do no powers. Yeah, I don't. I don't have any powers, man. Exactly. I don't have the power to control people. You know. And neither does God. God does. Apparently, uh, apparently not, because look at this shit. Everybody's out of control nowadays. I not even nowadays. Like always. Noah, where they had giants in the land. Do you, you think, do you think giants are real? Yeah, look at the book of Enoch. I got the app. Yeah. Where are they at? Yeah, where's the... Where's they the... got destroyed in the flood. No, where's the fossils? Um, They're finding fossils, you know. Mm-mm. No, uh... I've never look seen it. Look it up. I've, Google it, you know. I've Googled it before because I used to be an evangelical Christian that watched all the crazy shit that you used to watch, but... um. You know, yeah, like, I mean, there's pictures of fake shit. Realism, there's fake it. shit on the internet, but there's no like real giants that have been found. Well, yeah, because when the flood hit, it washed everything away. But that would. So, you just said that you found. If there was a giant flood, there'd be fossils everywhere. And there are. Maybe they're what the dinosaurs are. But no, it talks about giants that look like humans, but there's no. There's no giant fossils found anywhere. I mean, I, I'm pretty. I mean, you, you not lived in this a record in archaeology. They're finding cities what, of the Bible. What cities? Every city they found Jericho. You know, you what? Know, what is right? okay? So a city is mentioned in the Bible, and it's a real city. What does that mean? Does that mean God is real? Because that's not proof of God. Yes, it. Okay, yeah. Archaeologists have It's proof. just proof that that city exists. I know, and there's proof in the um, Prophets that um, Israel was in Exodus, 1400 BC. But does how does that prove... How does that prove God? I'm asking you what your evidence that God is real. I'm giving it to you and you're not hearing me. Yeah. You know. I'm trying right. to hear you, but I'm poking holes in what you're saying. So I'm saying give me a little bit more. I know, so it's your fault that it, you're not listening. Yeah. You know. <laughs> okay. Um and you don't want to listen, yeah. You know. Okay, but okay, let me rephrase the question. Um what is your evidence that the Christian God is real as opposed to the Muslim God or the Jewish God or yeah, well, the Muslim God everybody they don't want them to see that what he looks like, you know. Yeah, they don't want it you to show the prophet muhammad or have depictions of god exactly and ours it's like but technically time we want you know technically you're wrong though no how well I'll prove you wrong. okay i'll prove you wrong and prove me wrong. Yep. in the old testament there is a thing called idol worshiping right yeah you're and not you're not supposed to yeah. you can't worship idols you know that yeah, I know that it happened. Obviously. Okay, you know. okay. Well, the picture that we have of Jesus is not really what Jesus looked like. We don't know what Jesus looked like. We exactly, don't... no one knows the image of God. Not even we, exactly, you're stuff. absolutely right, John. No one knows the image of God. But we have all these paintings of God and Jesus. 
So he those, those man died, Jesus looked like man logically, died. those are idols because we don't know what God looks like. So therefore, how can we paint him? So those are idols. And technically, technically, every painting God, if you you know God, every painting of God and every statue of God or every painting of Jesus or every statue of Jesus is technically a sin. Right, but you know right from wrong. Yeah. But what's that have to do with what I just said? Because you're proving to me that you don't know who God is. Nobody does. Yeah, I don't know who God is. No one knows who God is. Uh, me too, John. Um, you got anything to say about... No one acknowledge him. You got anything to say about Muslims? Um, no, because, I mean... I just pray for him, you know, nothing, I mean, really to say, you know. Who's to say the Jewish God isn't real? Because that's Yahweh, Jesus, you know, the lineage. It's not Jesus. Yahweh. It's before Jesus. No, there were 72 examples of Jesus, you know. That was the Old Testament, right? It's the Old Testament, the Torah. I know, they're like allegories, you know. Okay, but um, uh, what I'm saying is, what if Jesus was a false prophet? That's what Jewish because people... Because they already covered that in the Bible. They called him Belzebub, you know, the Pharisees. I don't think Beelzebub has anything to do with Jesus. Though. Jesus said a house divided in itself cannot stand. Didn't Abraham Lincoln say that? Exactly, and that's where he got that from. Yeah. What? <laughs> what? He got that from the Bible. You know. Maybe I don't know. Maybe he did. Oh, I thought he was saying that the Bible got that from Abraham Lincoln. <laughs> no, he's saying Abraham Lincoln got that from the Bible. Oh. Exactly, and there's a lot of sayings out there from the Bible. Yeah. Okay, there's wisdom to be had in the Bible, but that doesn't make it true. And um, Proverbs eighteen two. A fool gives his own opinion, airs out his own opinion. So like you and me. Yeah, I think we're all fools, you know. I'll agree to that. I think everyone on earth is a fool, including and myself. Especially with social media and everything, you know. But that there's isn't, all because, there's, all because there's wisdom in the Bible doesn't mean everything yeah, in the... You just said it, the answer. Wisdom in the Bible. There's a lot wrong in the There's Bible, There's a lot wrong too. in the Bible, too, is what I'm saying. Exactly, and it's about God's grace and mercy here. No, it's not. It's about how he wants to fucking throw you in a pit for all eternity because he created no, you that's, in No, that's, um, the pit is where the devil's going in hell. Everybody else goes there, too, right? You said that people go to hell. No. He separates us in the final day. In the heaven, you know, there'll be some of us going to heaven. There'll you said everyone goes to heaven. Pit. And if you're not ready to go, you'll be in the pit, you know, or the lake of fire. Exactly. So you, that's what I was saying. So God throws you in the lake of fire because you're... No, he'll throw you in the lake of fire. He'll have, save me in heaven, you know. Exactly. Yeah. That's what I'm saying. That's a fucking stupid demonic god that I wouldn't want to worship. He's creating us to make us suffer. Yeah, he's creating us knowing that we're going to go to hell, and he still no, creates us anyway. Stop blaming God for going to hell. That's the devil's lie. Yeah. He no. made us like this. He made us like this. We have to either choose to worship. I can't force you to worship God, you know. But who's to you say to who's it, to say you know. your God is real as opposed to the thousands of other gods that are that are like the thousands of other religions out there? You because know? I I was revealed who God was, you know. How are you revealed? I had a faith in Him, Jesus. Being That's not being revealed that. anything. Faith means belief without evidence. That means you have belief without exactly. evidence. That means you haven't been revealed shit though. But it means I'm believing though. You do believe it, I'll give you that. You're a strong believer, but I don't think it's real. And that's why you're not a believer, yeah. Yeah, I'm not a believer. You're absolutely correct. And your words condemn you, yeah. 
And my uh, what? Your words condemn you. My wars condemn me or my words? Words. My words condemn me. I don't see how they condemn me. I'm just being logical. Exactly. Yeah. Too logical. Too logical? I don't think you can be too logical. You're making sense. Yeah, all because I'm making sense. All, Romans 5.12, all sins are equal. You know. Okay, so like raping a baby is equal to stealing something? I just... Exactly what it says here. I don't think that's so. That's so wrong. Exactly, that's what you get for thinking. Yeah. What? I said that's what you get for thinking. So God doesn't want you to think. Exactly, just trust. It's just humans that think. Everybody has their own thoughts. Why would God give us a brain if he didn't want us to think? Because sometimes we have to experience in life to grow and challenge. But we can't think while we're doing it. If we knew everything like God does, we wouldn't want to be experiencing life, you know. We would just, it would be boring, you know. I I don't think so. I think it's good to think. I think it'd be the same because I don't think God's real. So I think everything would be the same. and that's what you get for thinking, you know. What do you mean? I don't think God's real. Nothing bad has happened to me. It will, though, in the end, you know. No, I'll just be dead in the ground. I'll be in the ground getting eaten by worms. That's what will happen to me. No, and you'll be thrown into the pit. That yeah, place doesn't exist. Pit. You can't even prove it exists. Prove hell exists. Okay, Lord Jesus, open up the gates and hell. Without oh. using the book. You can't use your own book to prove something exists. I'm not. You know, I'm using my phone. <laughs> you know what I'm saying. I mean, like, the, the Bible. Bible. That's what I'm saying. I use Bible because it's my tool. It's my sword. But it's not proof of anything. Yes, it is. No, it's not. How is it proof of anything? It's just a it's book. It's my proof. But it's just a my book. My weapon. It's just a book. No, it's not. It's a double-edged sword. It's a book. It's a double-edged sword? Yes. It can't. How is it a double-edged sword? Because it, it reaches into your soul. No, it doesn't. Like a reaper. It has like a- reefer. <laughs> reefer. Like marijuana? No, like a grim reefer sword. Okay. Um, the angel of death? Yeah, he's pretty cool. You think he's real? Joseph well, Mengele's no, real. Well, that's the Pharaoh's firstborn son. Yeah. Uh, you got any other verses you want to cover? No, I'm good. I mean, we're good, you know. We're good just talking now? I don't know what that noise is in here. Maybe it's a ghost, man. Who knows? It's a mystery. Maybe it's Satan trying to break into your house. I'm good. I trust God. I'm, I've seen the blood of Jesus Christ over it, you know. Why do you uh, rebuke people? Because the Bible says so, you know. So but rebuking a person, permission. that makes no sense. I get... Okay, you're going to rebuke a spirit because... You, you it's get, a spirit, yes, because we're spirits. you got to fight yeah, the supernatural spirit, supernatural, then, right? Because Jesus mentions that we clean our own house, but then the spirit goes, the demon goes. And then he brings seven more demons, bad boys, with him and goes inside him, back into there. What do you mean inside him, like... <laughs> Like through his butt? Possess. Possession. Through his butt? Like, does he possess him through his butt, through his mouth? Like, how does he get in? Who the fuck gives a care, you know? If you're possessed by Satan, you're possessed by Satan. I I want to be possessed by Satan. No, you don't. I feel like it'd be cool. No, you'll wind up in the pit of hell. What happens to you? Yeah, don't you, like, go around, like, on a rampage, right, killing a bunch of people, and you're, like, invincible because Satan's inside of you? Exactly. You want to do that? I mean, that's... Yeah, that sounds fun. That sounds like a metal video game. You know? I don't want to do that, you know. <laughs> you ever play Grand Theft Auto? No, that's, that's, that's a mental hospital. No, uh, that's a fun game. It's a fun game, bro, that millions of people play. Yeah, then why don't you do what it says, you know? What do you mean? You mean like go deal drugs and 
kill he, people. Exactly. You know, go rob a car. You know, that's what it's made for. Let's go so do it, can, bro. So that you can do it in the video yeah, game. Yeah, do it in the video game. Exactly. It's training for real life. You know. It, no. no, that's like saying Call of Duty trains you to go fucking go to war. Exactly, that's what it is. It's a no, war it, game. No, no, it's not. Dude, that's like saying Watch Dogs trains you how to hack. Well, doesn't it? Or watching... Um, no, it doesn't. No, it didn't. You know. It's just clicking buttons, bro. You're just, Clickbait. Yeah. You're just playing a video game. Yeah, you're just clicking buttons and seeing Clickbait something on the screen. It's like an interactive control. movie. Yeah. It's like an interactive movie. That's all it is. Are you saying? Yeah, Bill Maher says movies are real. You know. No, are you? Not. No, they're not. Are you saying that? Uh, good... They're trying to tell us something. You know, like the Matrix. You know. Are you saying if you watch Halloween, you're gonna go on a rampage and kill a bunch of people? No, but if you watch it too much, you might. You know. I don't think that's how it works. That's never gonna happen. To me, you never know if you watch Saw over and over again. It's just a good movie. It's a movie. I know, but you program yourself. You know? No, I, normal people with normal brains don't think that way. Maybe pe- exactly. people with normal. fucked up yeah. brains might start having an obsession. Exactly, if you're fucked up and, you know, watch that movie, you know. Who are you voting for in 2024? Trump, no matter what, you know. What if he doesn't what? run? He's already running, you know. <laughs> oh, yeah, you're right. I forgot all about that. It's just so early, you know. They start the American election cycle so early. I know. It's just like school, starting school so early, you know. Yeah, but it's like a year and a half before the election is. I know, well, because it's a game, I mean, that they, you know. I mean, they know it's pretty planned. They know Trump's going to win, you know. How do you know Jesus is real? Because I believe in him, yeah. But how do you I know? How do you? I'm not asking what you believe. I'm asking what you know. It's not about what I know. You know, don't worry about it. You how know. do you know do he's you real? Know for sure that he because I trust. Do you know? I have a relationship with him. Do you him. know for sure that he existed? Yes, for sure. How do you know? Because I just know. I trust him. Explain, but that's not evidence. Explain how you. know. That's evidence for me. I don't have to give an evidence answer. But why do you trust a 2,000-year-old dead guy? Because he rose from the dead. How but do how do you know, know that actually happened? Because that actually happened in account in the Bible. Because of, do you think it's a first-hand account? It just says it in a book. Yeah, but so was Harry Potter in the book. You know, but he's but Harry real. Potter's fake. Exactly, and you believe that over a Bible. That's no, I don't old. believe in Harry Potter over the Bible. And the Bible is written over 2,000 years old. That's these worlds. Anyways, did you say that the Bible is a first-hand account of Jesus? Yes, and parts of it is a third and second person. You want to know something? You're wrong. No, you're wrong. You're no. Trump wrong. No, no, let me tell you. Uh, which one's the first book in the New Testament? Is it Mark or Matthew? It is um, Matthew in the, the well, revised version, but I got the 16 and 11 Bible. All right. Well, let me just say this. In Matthew, it mentions the destruction of the Jewish temple, which happened in the I year. I know. He mentioned that to his body. Yeah, it he happened. About because our bodies are temples of the Spirit. It happened in the year 77 AD, 43 years or 44 years after Jesus supposedly died on the cross, so it wasn't a first. And it wasn't a first-hand account. It was written. It. it was written four decades later, and then all the other books that come after Matthew are derived from Matthew. So it's not a first-hand account in any way, shape, or form. Dude, the Bible's over four hundred years old. Yeah, it's way over four hundred years old. What do you mean? I know. And you should look up the Chinese account of the crucifixion. All because it's old. There was no Chinese account. There's no records. Yes, of Jesus. there is. There's no records of Jesus' crucifixion. Not even the Roman, Romans is. had a record. And the Romans were known for keeping really good records. That's why they were an empire. I'll show you. All well, because you show me something doesn't mean it's the real. Uh, documents. 
It could have been, even if there is a document, it could have been made a thousand years later. Georgian documents of the Jesus, S-U-T-R-S, collection of Chinese language sets connected with the 7th century missions of Alpine in the church of the East Bishop of Sassania, Mesopotamia, in the 8th century monk Adam. So in the 7th century, they confirmed Jesus lived 700 years before them. Yes. That's not After proof Google. of anything. They live 700 years later. Where did you find that at? They live 700 years later, so it doesn't even matter. It matters because it proves he's real. No, how, does that, how does that prove that he's real? He, 700 years later. It, that's like me believe, saying... You moron. That's, like me, that's like me saying fucking... Uh, like, I know who Genghis Khan's long-lost grandson was who lived 700 years ago i know he was real yeah and they respect Genghis Khan more than they do joe biden what does this what, have to what? do yeah joe, joe biden's biden. got dementia he's a bad leader we all know this exactly because some say he pays the, the way for the dynasty Genghis Khan, even though he was a brutal killer there's many in china that paved the way that respect Genghis Khan. Okay, he was a, he was a good and fierce leader who desic who and destroyed right against him. Who almost conquered the, the world. Do you like the Ku Klux Klan? No, they're the clan you don't want showing up, and you're deflecting. You know, you're you know. I just feel like you, because I know fucking Alex Mercado's in the Ku Klux Klan, and he used to be your boyfriend. So I was wondering if you like the Ku Klux Klan. No, I don't. I didn't even know about that. You know. I thought you were the one that told me. I was messing around with you. I looked it up, and he really is. Well, he's the son of an the son of Confederate. You know. So he's the sons of Confederate. So he's. Do you like the Confederacy? No, I used to back in high school, but once I got saved and realized that every life, every soul matters. Why did it? Why did it take? uh, Why did it take God? Human zoos in Brussels, you know. Yeah, I'll I'll get to that. Why did it take God to? uh, No, the human zoos in Brussels. I want to talk about it now. Yeah, let me ask you. Let me ask you my question. We'll talk about it. Uh, Why did it take God? For you to realize that black people were equal to white people. Because of my human error, yeah. But like, I don't believe in God, and I know black people are equal to white people. Like, I don't need God to realize that. Because whenever you're just worldly and carnal, you think like everybody else where you're living. And I was living. In I don't Georgia. think so, bro. Because I'm surrounded by Republicans and Christians, and I don't think I like them at all. Well, yeah, but part of it's like a tribe, you know, tribal, you know. For some people, it's like a tribe family, you know. But that's what Country. that's what you sent me on the messages the other day that you wanted me to make a video about is like. Uh, Atheists don't have morality because they don't believe in God, and how could they have morality because morality comes from God, correct? Exactly. We have different values and different, you know. Well, no, but that's correct in what you believe. Exactly. Like, my concerns, what I value, is different from yours, you know, like. No, but explain what I was saying about the morality shit and how atheists have no morals. The morals, you know, your morals are different, you know. I don't think they are different. What you think good isn't what I think is good, you know. Uh, do you think murder is good? No, that not kill, you know. I don't, I, I don't I, think murder is good. And you're just making a mockery, you know, because, and that's how all you, you got. Think, how am I making movie. a mockery by saying I don't think murder is good? Well, I mean, would you like it if you were murdered? You know. I'm saying I don't think it's good. Oh, I didn't hear that. Yeah. Oh, you're good. <laughs> no, I don't think murder's good, so I agree with you on that. Do you think stealing is good? No. I don't think stealing is good either. Do you think neither adultery is good? No, adultery is 
everything is equal and it's not good. You know, even cocaine at the White House isn't good. You know. How do you, cocaine ain't a sin. <laughs> cocaine. But it's right. um, bad for you, a bad habit, you know. It might be a bad habit, but technically it's not a sin. Neither is Christian rock and roll, but it's good, you know, for the soul. Uh, sure. It, I mean, I'm glad you take enjoyment in that. I'm glad you have something to, you know, listen to and have fun with. Exactly. It's about finding your happy place, you know. Being oh. content, you know. But you can, you can be content without God. And you can have morals without God. Because I have morals. Right. I have morals and I don't believe in God. Yeah, you can, but it's a lot harder to get anything done with anybody and people. I disagree. I disagree completely because I'm sitting here talking to you and we're having a fucking podcast right now and I don't believe in God. I know, and wait till you upload that shit, you know. And then have like a hundred people watch it and then like... Yeah, and add their opinions on you, you know. You're the only one that ever disagrees with me. Exactly, that should tell you something, you know. That you disagree with me? No, that I agree with you sometimes, you know. You do agree with me sometimes, that's why you watch the show. Exactly. But I'm saying we're so similar, but I don't believe in God and you believe in God, but I don't, you clearly, okay, can you at least admit that you have no evidence of God, that it's purely just faith and you have no evidence? No, to- because um, I have no physical evidence. That's what I'm saying. It's all faith. It's all faith. So you have no evidence of God. Uh, no evidence, and but I have trust. Here we go. So there's no evidence of God. You got trust. I just trust him as is, you know. But how can you go on that? Like, there's so many, there's thousands. Because of, I can and, and want to. You sure, know? you can and you can want to, and there's nothing wrong with that. And you can believe whatever you want to believe. Exactly, and I don't force my opinion on other people. I don't make them believe in God and say, you have to do that, you know. But I'm sitting here asking you questions about why you believe them, and you're basically like, I have no evidence. I can't support exactly. it. Exactly. I mean, don't ask why. You know, like Herb Burrell said, you know, don't ask but, me why. But what if you pick the wrong religion? There's thousands of other ones. What if this one's wrong, and then you go to hell in another religion? That's just a part of it, life, you know. That would so, you know? so you admit that it's a gamble? It's all a gamble. And you like gambling. <laughs> exactly. John, I really think that you're the main character in life. Main character. I'm the lead actor, and you're the Padawan. The Padawan? Star Wars, you know. Yeah, I watch Star Wars. I like Star Wars. I know what you're talking about. Padawan's the little Jedi. I man. know. <laughs> I know. They're the little that the Masters train. I'm, I'm, I'm um, dissing you as um, a Jedi humor. Yeah. Yeah. You're appeasing me. Yeah. Yeah. I'm calling you a little kid. I'm the Dalek, bro. No, you're a little Padawan, you know. Hell no. I'm I'm the Dalek, dude. You're the Padawan. No, I'm the Dalek. I'm the Jedi Master. You can be the Jedi Master, but I'm from Doctor Who. I'm the Dalek. I'm Obi-Wan Kenobi. I'm the Dalek because I, I just fucking <laughs> I just fucking exterminated you, bro. No, I didn't. I'm baby I'm Yoda. Yoda. Yeah. You know? Yeah, Caleb's baby Yoda. Okay, I'll pick someone from Star Wars. I'm fucking Luke Skywalker. <laughs> I'm Luke Skywalker, dude. You know why? Because uh, I'm good. I picked Darth Vader because of my oxygen. No, you're Jabba the Hutt. No, his oxygen. No, no job of the I'm heart. Her. And then you're Princess Leia. <laughs> no, I'm Han Solo. No, you're Han Solo. Yeah. I'm CP. I'm Chewbacca. I'm the yeah, Golden I can King. agree to that. Or I thought you were the Ewoks. Yeah. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> I don't know. You watch Star Trek? Yeah, but it's too, it's not like Star Wars. I mean, it was, I didn't get the humor, you know. It's not really supposed to. I always got the who before it started back, you know. It's not supposed to be that humorous. It's more like science fiction adventure. I know, exactly. It was too serious, you know. I like it. 
I mean, I like some episodes. Doctor Who can be serious too, bro. I've cried. Dude, I cried in some episodes of Doctor Who. I wasn't alive when Star Trek came out, so. Well, neither was I, dude. I'm fucking 22. I know, and I had the DVDs and the Batman, Adam West Batman. Yeah, I've watched that. that. really stupid, you know. You like the uh, Tim Burton Batmans? Um, I like the um, one with um, the Joker. Um, who's that one that he, he's pleasure? You know. Yeah, he's good. Yeah, that's uh, Christopher the Nolan. The one that died, you know, playing the Joker. You know. Christopher Nolan's Batmans. That was that one. I like I'm that talking one. about Tim that Burton. The best Joker. Tim Burton with Jack Nicholson and fucking Michael Keaton. Yeah, see, I don't care for Jack Nicholson. I mean, I mean, I like him, but he's the best. You know, like everyone fucking loves him. You know. What about the one with the penguin in it? You like that one? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I like the one with the penguin in it too. That's probably my favorite. Besides, I my do. My favorite is the Adam West penguin. Nah. And um, Danny DeVito all the way, man. Man, my fucking Danny's my cool. nutsack like itches, and, uh, bro. That um. It's always sunny in Philadelphia. Yeah, I like it's always sunny in Philadelphia, but my nutsack. You know, he explains atheists versus Christians in that show. I'll have to check it out, but my nutsack itches, bro. Well, why don't you play with yourself with them or have him suck you off? (laughs) (laughs) Follow the leader. Okay, Caleb, you heard the man. No, no. But fucking, no, I think I got crabs or something. You probably got it from Bill Clinton, yeah, or Monica. Bill Clinton or Monica. I got it from Monica. I'd fuck Monica. <laughs> it's in your office, you know. Yeah, it's fun. That shit happened 20 years ago, bro, though. I know, and people want to say Trump was the original. No, fucking Lyndon Johnson was the original. I never heard about that one, but I mean. Bro, he had a name for his... I forgot the name for his... Well, actually, I guess fucking Warren G. Harding was the first one. He had a name for his wiener, too. He called <laughs> it Jerry. Yeah, he yeah. called his wiener Jerry. Exactly. See, that's been going on for years. And, you know. That's in 1923 or some shit, bro. And then Lyndon Johnson was in the 1960s, and he fucking had a bunch of affairs and apparently had a really big wiener, and he'd, like, show his wiener to members <laughs> of Congress and shit like exactly. that. Exactly. It's nothing new, you know, under the sun, you know. Yeah, it's been happening for. I mean, John F. Kennedy. Like, yeah, he war. slept with Marilyn Monroe. Uh, well, I don't know about that one, then, but I know they hung out. You know, I heard they slept together. Everyone heard about that. They probably did, but they're probably swingers. You know, <laughs> I don't know. I think Jackie got kind of mad about <laughs> what Jack was up to. But, um, yeah, do you think she killed him or, you know? No, I think, I don't think Lee, Har- I mean, I think Lee Harvey Oswald did too, but I don't, yeah, they do, right? I don't Where think he, he did was, it alone. Like he was a ball guy, you know? I don't think Lee Harvey Oswald acted alone, but I think he was involved for sure. Yeah, but they certainly knew it. They picked him out, you know. You just think, you think John F. Kennedy's Kurt Cobain. That's why you asked that. You're like, it's like Courtney Love. Exactly. Over- I mean, I don't think <laughs> Right, that team didn't kill himself, you know. You think John F. Kennedy is Kurt Cobain, bro? Exactly, because who killed him? You know, his wife, you know. No, he Kurt killed himself. himself, dude. He shot him, he blew his brains out with a shotgun. Yeah, she drove him to do it, you know. That doesn't mean she killed him. No, but she probably drove him insane, you know. Is driving someone insane wrong? Um, to me it is, I mean. I feel like it's kind of funny. I think it's funny. It's not, I mean, it's mentally, mental health, you know. Yeah, isn't it funny to be like a nuisance to someone? Exactly, but I can drive somebody crazy just by talking, you know. I don't need a crew. Do you, you do, do you do that? Yeah, my whole shows, you know. No, people watch your show, they wouldn't click on it if they thought you were annoying. Means I'm not normal, you know. That is part of the reason why people watch you. Exactly, I drive everybody mad and crazy. No, that's not it. Well, I, I personally, I laugh. Man, a, you make me, you mess. you make me laugh my ass off. Bro. <laughs> I know exactly. Comedy. Most comedians are dead inside. Yeah. 
Are you saying you're dead inside? No, but we hide it through our humor, you know. But are you saying you're sad? Are you sad, John Campbell? I'm lonely, you know. You're lonely. Is that why you talk to us? Yeah, I mean, I live alone, you know. Nobody comes visit me, you know. That's sad. Not even a damn church. It's fucked up, isn't it? I know. That's what I'm saying. How can you be fucking... How do you believe in this fucking God if he's never there for you? And then these people... Wait, wait, let me finish what I'm saying. And then these people that you go to church with don't even fucking visit you. And the people that... The people that do call you... With the people that do call you and you might have disagreements with them and we might get into it sometimes, but we still call you and we still ask how you're doing almost every day. Exactly. Are us atheists. I know, because... I just, I don't know why. I just, I have no answer, you know. I'll get back with you whenever I have more information, you know. All right, John. I, I got one more question for you. Ask yours first. Hey, John, do you like right. Breaking Bad? I've seen it, you know. I it, loved it, you know. I like that show, too. It's really fucking good. It is good. I thought it taught us how to make math, you know. I mean, kind of. You can see some of the steps in it for sure. Yeah, I mean, it was like instruction manuals. I wouldn't say that, but there's some, you can see some of the process. I mean, you can at least, I mean. You can see some of the process, but the whole process is not on the show. Watch the show, you know. All right, but my question for you is, would you ever be on a game show? Um, depends. I was on one. No, like on the game show on the podcast. Uh, no. I mean, gay. I was on one in this in Orlando Source Studios. You went to Orlando Studios and was in a game show. Yeah, it was a Jimmy Neutron game. I went with my late sister. She lives in Newport Ritchie. She died. Yeah, died. died. Um, she was found dead at his old Super Bowl party. What, from drugs? Um, missing depressants and alcohol. Well, that sucks, man. I'm sorry to hear that. That's sad. But I'm the sorry. only memory I have, and it was because her crap had, her deadbeat husband divorced her. Right. And she went to Chicago. But they took me to um, Universal Studios. In Orlando. Well, that's cool. And we had a Jimmy Neutron show. Did you win? It was like a game show. I wish I could find the video of it. Did you you win? I don't know. I don't remember. You know. You got any more? Somebody could find the video of it. You know, like it was one of those live shows. You know, like studios. I get it. You got any more doctors giving you propaganda? That's all the time in America, you know. What's it? What's it like? Like, do, do you hear voices? I don't. Yeah, in our RKO, yeah. You do hear voices. I said I Randy Orton here. Yeah, that's Randy Orton's theme song. He's like, I hear voices in my head. Do you though? No, I don't. You know. Then why do they say you're schizophrenic? Because you're par- because cause you're theme paranoid song from Randy Orton. Yeah. You know. Because you're paranoid? Because of the theme song of Randy Orton. Can you roar for me? <laughs> no. Well, I just want to know why you're schizophrenic. I'm not. But you said you were in the last podcast. Because I was joking around with you. Stop taking me so damn serious. But you also say the FBI is watching you and shit like that. And I also say I watched your mom last night, too, you know. Ooh. <laughs> you can have her. She's real fat. Exactly. I like fat women, you know. <laughs> Ooh. Have you only had sex with one woman? Exactly. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Hell no. Anyways, John, it was good talking to you, man. All right. Uh... 
Anyways, we're going to end the show here. It's been the Bull Session Podcast. Make sure to like, comment, subscribe, do all that stupid bullshit. Go and check- I'm kind of retarded too, so, you know, like uh, Alex Jones. And- <laughs> right. And uh, go check out Metatron, the book of life. Go check out It's KDHD and watch more of my videos. Thank you, everyone. Go insane, you know. Right.